guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name or my channel brand is the digital empress my name is taylor you can call me either one and today i am back with a challenge a 25 day challenge that i want to do this month with try hack me and it's called the event of cyber it started with cybersecurity in 25 days. Now, I've been in cybersecurity field for some time now, for about seven years now, um, ever since I started my school year. But um, I'm always up for a game, a challenge, and there's prizes. There's over $19,000 worth of prizes. The more questions you answer, the more you chance of more questions you answer, the more chance you have of winning. It's completely free. Um, you get a certificate if you complete all 25 daily security tasks and earn custom earn a custom certificate of completion. And it's featuring John Hammond, Neil Bridges, and Starter PhD, CyberSec, Meg, Namsec, Tib Tiberius, and Husky Hacks. I know CompTIA is one of the sponsors for this event, uh, Offensive Security, Port Swigger. If you guys didn't know, I'm doing their labs. And um, of course, Try Hack Me. So I'm gonna just go through a challenge a day, record myself, and then upload it to YouTube so you guys can see my progress, what I'm learning, and things of that nature. So let's start with day one. Okay, this is what it looks like when you get in here. Um, I'm going to join the room here. Okay, I have joined the room. I'm just giving you a background of everything. So let's watch the video. It looks like Grinch text. If you're looking for the holiday spirit, you are in the right place. If you're looking for the North Pole, you are in the right place. If you're looking for the Try Hack Me Advent of Cyber 3, you are definitely in the right place. My name is John Hammond, and I could not be any more honored to be able to help kick off this incredible, fantastic, and annual event, the Try Hack Me Advent of Cyber 3. So hey, this year, Try Hack Me is going above and beyond. If you don't know the game, if you don't know the usual, advent of cyber. This is learning cybersecurity for free, for fun, for all the great things every single day leading up until Christmas throughout the month of December. So let's Okay guys, I'm back um, after going and reading through the day one or introduction of Try Hack Me Advent of Cyber. I've done the introduction. I've Followed all the socials, um, LinkedIn, Discord, Twitter, subreddit. They've got me to create an account on Reddit. So I'll be checking up with that. Um, they are having uh, the cyber event of cyber is completely free. Um, but you can get a Try Hack Me VIP subscription. And you can get 20% off the annual subscription using the discount code A0C2021 at checkout. And it's only valid for 5 days, 15 hours, 13 minutes, and the seconds counting down. And then they also have swag. They have like a push, they have a Christmas shirt that you can buy. Um, and then... No, I've read the tutorial. <sighs> so right now I'm trying to get my Cali box up so I can use this to basically solve the challenges. I'm going to be using the Open v 
VPN client, which I usually do, unless like VirtualBox um, has some trouble. I've been having trouble like opening up my Cali machine, my Windows 7 machine, and then I have a Metasploit machine, um, which is like a vulnerable, my vulnerable VM that I like tests on. But it looks like it's up and running. I just, I had to, um, I had to like turn off the network adapter because that's causing like an error. And I'll put the link to like this challenge and stuff like that, the information in the description box if you are interested in um, doing it. And then I have to edit this video tonight and get it uploaded because I gotta stay on top of videos and editing every day for this okay let me do a shutdown looks like an ethernet wire connection let's see if it works let's see oh let's see if it works okay we got it great we can set up open vpn now so for this i just one second, let me go put this child to sleep. Okay, so you want to click the big red button, access machines, and then you want to click open VPN, connect to your network via a VPN. Now, if you're in your Cali virtual machine on VirtualBox, uh, VMware, whatever, you have to install it on that virtual machine. You can't be on your Mac or your local system and download open vpn and then be trying to like connect to it through your mac or you know to your it has to be on the same machine so if you're working on your macbook and you want open open vpn to work on your macbook install on your macbook if you want to work it on your Linux virtual box machine do it on there so that one and when you click it it will give you um the instructions on how to get it set up. So the first thing you want to do, I think I already have, let me see. I think I already have one downloaded. I do. So you can see here, it's probably going to be like your username dot open VPN. And then if you don't have it already installed on your virtual machine, you're going to do sudo apt install open VPN. In your terminal, you just do sudo apt install open. Oh, and be careful and do um, open VPN and not. I don't know what I was doing. Oh, do open VPN. I'm gonna just do it for instruction's sake. Mine is already installed, so it says it's already installed, and then. What you want to do is, because it's in my downloads folder here, you're just going to do change directory to downloads. So now you're in the downloads and you're going to do list, list files. So ls for list of files. And you see burps, I have burp suite there. And then my open vpn um, agent that i'm gonna get started so then you what you want to do is to use your open v vpn file with the following command so you just want to do sudo uh let's see open vpn i'm just gonna tap actually vpn there i just tabbed to complete it and you just put in the old open vpn agent that's in your downloads folder click enter you see there we go Okay, so now it says we're connected and I'm gonna click out 
and I'm just going to refresh and it should say that we are connected you say okay the inventory we inventory inventory management systems used to create the gifts have been tampered with to frustrate the elves it's a night shift and mcstalker comes to mcskitty panicking about the gifts all being built wrong with no managers around to fix the issue mcskitty needs someone needs to somehow get access and fix the systems and keep everything up on track to be ready for Christmas okay so this is the inventory management system site okay let's go back down okay we click the view site this is a mock browser on the completed orders page showing images of the toys which have been made incorrectly due to the Grinch's tampering yeah, they look they look bad. Okay. There are also three other pages on the navigation panel. Uh builds. Okay. Teddy bear body, spinning top top plunger, spinning top base, train wheels, train base, teddy bear head. If you've worked in customer service, uh such as like the grocery store which i have these school school numbers look very familiar to you i remember working with these um inventory more SKU numbers in the directions and then your activity employee id 11 mcskitty that does not look like a girl at all but I guess all the elves are like genderless looking, so I guess not. I guess they won't look like girls or boys. Junior toy tester. Okay. Oh, that's probably why it doesn't look right because the Grinch messed with it. Yeah. Okay. There are also, yeah, okay, so you read that the build page shows different toys and the parts they are made up of. As you can see, due to tampering, these are all incorrect. Oh, they are, okay, so they got the train and the teddy bear under the toy train, the teddy bear got the teddy bear body, but they got the spinning top plunger underneath there and the spinning top. They got the spinning type base, but the train builds are there. Okay. Um, the inventory page lists the individual items with the cor corresponding SKU codes. Okay. Your activity page displays Meet Skitty user information, photo, and their recent actions on the system. Okay, so that is Meet Skitty. Okay. As we learn above, an IDOR vulnerability requires changing some kind of user input. Out of all the pages we can navigate to, the only page that has input that can be altered is the is on the your activity page. You'll see in the URL a query component, which is this right here. Um, parameter named user ID, which is set to the value of 11, which is McSkitty's user ID. McSkitty. <laughs> Try changing the user ID value in the address bar, and you'll see that the web application tries to load another user's information. Okay, let's do um, lucky number seven. Oh, I said seven, not six. User not found. Okay, the different numbers between the values one and 20. And try the different numbers between one and 20 until you find a user who could have been responsible for the tampering on the system. Okay, let's try this. One. Okay, number one is Santa. Position, the boss. Let's try number two. Number two is nobody. Number three is Miss McStucker, the build manager. Okay. 
Who's number four? Nobody. Number five. Nobody. Number six. Nobody. You would think the Grinch would be number six because he's Satan in this predicament. Number seven. Nobody. Eight. Nobody. Nine. And here we go, Mr. Satan himself. Okay. Clicking on the revert button on the user's actions will roll back the changes and allow the toy making machine to make properly built toys again. Once all the changes have been reverted, you'll be rewarded with a flag which can be entered below. Revert, 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 revert. Big Skitty has fixed the inventory management system and we got our flag. Yay. Let me make sure that they said we can do this on here and let's, you know, let me check the rules again because I ain't trying to be this one. Fine. Answer two questions are not to be shared unless shown on videos and streams. So we can't blog about them. We can't put them on Reddit. You basically can't read it. You got to watch it. So I'm good. Okay. After finding Santa's account, what is their position in the company? The boss. It's not. Hold on now. Let me put in the flag before I go back. Copy. Paste. Yay, we got... Wait, maybe I'm missing, I think I'm missing exclamation point. There we go. After finding McStalker's account, what is their position in the company? What was their position? I think it was Bill's manager. Okay. After finding the account responsible for tampering, what is their position in the company? Mischief manager. Mischief menace. Oh, did I spell something wrong? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did. What did I, oh, mischief. Mischief. There we go. If you want to learn more about iDoor vulnerabilities, we suggest trying out this room. Oh, they have a whole room, guys. And then I also have the book that I'm going to be reading. Um, I might as well join this room so I can get that under my belt. Okay, completed. Task released each day get progressively harder but are still guided with walkthrough videos come back to tomorrow for day two streak yay we finished day one i'm so happy i'm so happy i'm so happy okay so let's click out of this um yay so we finished day one day one completed now i'm going to go and edit this video and have it up hopefully by eight o'clock tonight and then hopefully i can get day two up earlier i can do it earlier in the morning edit it and then have it up by the middle of the day well, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this video i'm so happy to be back and be doing this challenge with you guys um if you want to discuss this with us and with me and the digital empire study group uh, you can join our study group discord in the description box i'm back in there after a week-long vacation in louisiana like i told you guys and um i'll be in there discussing this certs getting into the field updates whatever and um yeah, I'll be back tomorrow for day two. Thank you for watching.